Well, a pretty gray and gloomy day for our Labor Day, but let's start out the broadcast on a brighter note with our Garden Gallery winner. Coming in from Rushford is Connie Welch. Congratulations, Connie. You win a $10 gift card, and anyone else can enter their photos to garden at ktdc.com. Now, just a reminder, Garden Gallery does end next Friday on September 18th, so you want to make sure you get in your photos before then for your chance to be a winner. Now, let's take a look at our weather headlines. We've been dealing with some pretty isolated showers throughout the afternoon hours. And we'll see a few more of those for the rest of the evening before wrapping up for the overnight hours tonight. But really, a wet week is ahead of us. Rain chances for widespread rain Tuesday and Wednesday, and then potentially again as we head into the weekend. We could also be looking at record cold temperatures for Tuesday and Wednesday. So this cold weather and this preview to fall really is not going anywhere. Let's take a look at Tuesday and Wednesday. 48 degrees on Tuesday, 52 on Wednesday. So that's the type of conditions we would be expecting to see in late October. So beginning of September, really not what we should be seeing. Now, as we head towards the end of the week, we'll get up into the 60s, but still what we would be feeling for early October. And for the beginning of September, we're usually in the mid to lower 70s, so at least 10 degrees below that for this week. Outside right now, 52 degrees, dealing with some overcast skies, and some of us still seeing a little bit of shower activity. In the east of Rochester and heading towards Winona, notice that's continuing to fizzle out, and all of that heavier rainfall staying up well to our north, maybe clipping Red Wing just a little bit. That's kind of the continuation that we'll see as we head into the overnight hours. Bulk of that rain staying to the north overnight, but then as we head into Tuesday, have a pretty good chance of some pretty soaking widespread rain. Starting at about 8 a.m. along uh, I-35 into the south of I-90, and then widespread as we head into the afternoon. Now we could hear a few rumbles of thunder, but not expecting any severe weather for Tuesday. Really, just uh, some showers. And that continues as we head into the evening, maybe breaking up just a little bit as we head overnight, but then continuing with a few showers, and then Wednesday, cold and wet again. Notice widespread rain off to the west of I-35 that will continue to push eastward as we head throughout our Wednesday. So for tomorrow, our rainfall outlook kind of looking like a washout. If you want to get outside for a walk or a run tomorrow, you probably really have to do that before 8 a.m. That's your best chance of staying dry. Otherwise, we'll be pretty wet for our Tuesday. Now, rainfall accumulations look to be about half inch to an inch for Tuesday. 